we may actually stand a chance in today's game. Welcome back to season two of my South City Triceratops Walk on Dynasty. And today we are in our third game of the season, taking on the Texas State Bobcats. While everyone else on the team may be under an 80 overall, Daniel McCray is a 90 overall running back with 95 speed. I have a feeling he's going to be carrying this team today. Their quarterback is a 75 overall in Roger Williams. There's still not a whole lot to show you guys on what's going on with recruiting so far. It seems like we're going to get guard Thomas Bolden. A lot of what I'm considering this year is offensive linemen. I tried to find some tackles. They're not very many, so we're going to focus on guard for now. If we can land more than one, we could move them over to tackle. And then I'm also focusing on a middle linebacker. I'm looking at Chris Means, who is a two-star recruit, or Kellen Rice, who is a two-star Juco transfer. We're going to see if we can land either one of these guys. In our last game, we managed to hold on against Oklahoma through most of the game. They didn't break away until the fourth quarter, so I'm hoping we can stay competitive and maybe pick up a win today against Texas State. It is first and 10 from about the 32-yard line. Daniel McCray is in at running back. He's going to be a big problem today, I feel like. Williams will drop back to pass. He'll lob it downfield, and that will fall incomplete. He'll take the snap, and they give it to McCray, who goes up the middle on a counterplay and gas the first down, a gain of 12 on the run. Williams will take the snap on the next play, run a play action, and then throw the ball over the middle to absolutely nobody. On a second and 10, he's back in shotgun again. He'll take the snap, it's another handoff to McCray to the outside, but he'll cut back up the middle of the field and have another first down run. This one for a gain of 15. A new set of downs already. And now McCray is not in the game. Williams will drop back to pass. He lobs it to the outside. That's caught by Hurd for the first down, and he will fight his way down to the 25, a gain of 17. Now they come out in a five wide set for second down. Williams will take the snap. He's under pressure and throws to the outside, and that's actually deflected. It's always nice to see one of our members of the secondary make a play. Now third and four. Can we hold him to a field goal? Williams back in shotgun. will take the snap. A quick throw to the outside caught by Roberson, but he won't go anywhere. Fourth and three. And they will line up to go for it. This will be about a 34-yard attempt for Texas State to try to go up 3-0 on their first drive. The snap, the hold, the kick is away, and it is good. The South City offense, led by quarterback Eli Cox, will take over at the 25-yard line. He'll drop back from under center. We'll throw this to the tight end who can't make the catch and it's going to get intercepted off the drop. Well, not the start the offense had in mind. Now at the 29-yard line, Texas State comes back out with an option play. He pitches it out to McCray on the outside who will break a tackle, has blockers in front, down the sideline and forced out near the 15. Back in a shotgun formation. Now at the 14-yard line, he'll keep it himself and he'll get brought down in the backfield by Michael Starks for a loss of two. That will bring up a second and 12 now. He comes back in shotgun. McCray is back in the backfield. It's a handoff to McCray to the outside. He cuts up field and will get to the outside for a 10-yard gain. He comes back in shotgun. McCray is still in the backfield. It'll be an option play to the outside, and Williams will fight his way forward into the end zone. Touchdown, Bobcats, as they go up 10-0. The Triceratops get to start at the 22-yard line. Cox will drop back to pass. We're going to throw this one over the middle. That's caught by Barnes for the first down, a gain of 17. A new set of downs now back in shotgun. We're going to try the read option. Cox will keep himself, and Eli Cox to the outside will run over one player and end up with a 10-yard gain. An incomplete pass on second down leads to third and inches. Cox comes back in shotgun. He'll take the snap. A quick throw over the middle is going to be intercepted. He slightly threw it behind Davis, and that's already his second pick today. They once again start in SCU territory. Williams will drop back to pass. He goes downfield. That's caught by Newton, who's inside the 20, 15, 10, and will be brought down at the five-yard line, a 43-yard gain. First and goal, Williams comes back in shotgun. Now from the five-yard line, he'll take the snap and look to pass again. Standing in the pocket, dancing around, going to the back of the end zone, and another touchdown for Texas State will make it 17-0. I don't know how we started a game better against the number seven team in the country last week. But now down 17-0. We'll come out of the 25-yard line. We're going to try to run the ball with Overrocker to the outside, and he'll get brought down for just a one-yard play. Now a second and nine out in pistol. We'll drop back to pass. We're going to throw this one to the outside. That's caught by Davis for the first down. He'll fight to about the 40, a gain of 13. First and 10, Cox back in shotgun again. We'll take the snap and look to pass. We're going to throw this one to the outside. It's caught by Overrocker, who luckily doesn't go out of bounds, but will be brought down for a loss of one. A second and 11 for the Triceratops now. We'll send Hill in motion. Cox will take the snap. We're going to throw this to the outside. It's caught by Whitfield, who will try to make some people miss, but get brought down for a 15-yard gain. First and 10, back in pistol. 
Cox will take the snap and look to pass. We're going to wait and try to find someone open downfield, but we're going to take this sack for a loss of five. Just one of those plays where I should have definitely thrown that pass away a lot sooner. Cox back in shotgun. We'll take the snap and we'll drop back to pass. We're going to go downfield for Manny Hughes, but he overthrows him. He was wide open. Third and 15 now. Back in shotgun again. We'll take the snap and look to pass. We're going to try to throw this one over the middle, and that goes through the hands of Reggie Davis. Fourth down. Following the punt, Texas State takes over at the 13-yard line. It's a handoff to McRae to the outside. He has some pretty good blocking now down the sideline. Steps out of bounds near the 30. A five-yard gain on the next play from the quarterback brings up a second and five. He's back in shotgun. McRae is still the running back. They give it back to McRae. He'll run over one player now, bounce it to the outside, and he's off to the races down the sideline and finally forced down near the 30. A 35-yard gain. An incomplete pass on first down leads to second and 10. They come out in a five wide set. Williams will drop back to pass. Dancing around the pocket. All the time in the world. Finally finds McRae who will break a tackle, have the first down and get brought down inside the 10. A thrown away ball on first down leads to second and goal with 23 seconds to go here in the quarter. He'll send Roberson in motion. Hand off to Roberson who goes up the middle and will get brought down about the one yard line. That does take us into the second quarter of the game. It is now third and goal. He comes back in shotgun. Williams will take the snap. It's a read option, and he will run forward and fall down somehow inside the one-yard line. However, it does bring up a fourth and goal, and they are going to go for it. From about the half-yard line, Williams is in shotgun. He'll send a man in motion. He'll take the snap and look to pass. It's a screen to the outside. Caught by McRae, who will walk into the end zone completely untouched. There was no one within 10 yards of him. First and 10 from the 21, back in a five wide set. We'll drop back to pass, and we're gonna go deep downfield. That one will be almost intercepted. I thought we had Whitfield down the sideline. Another incomplete pass on second down brings up a third and 10, a possible three and out. Out of shotgun, we'll take the snap, and we're gonna look to go downfield, and that will be a diving reception from Dustin Daniels, a gain of 17. First and 10, Cox will line up under center. We'll drop back to pass. We're gonna throw this one to the outside, but he overthrows the receiver. Another incomplete pass on second down would lead to another third and ten situation. Cox back in shotgun. We'll drop back to pass. We'll throw this over the middle. Caught by Edwards for the first down. A gain of 13. An overthrown ball on first down leads to second and ten. Cox back in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look to pass. We're going to throw this one over the middle and Ryan Hill drops it. Third and ten. Cox back in shotgun again. Looking to convert for the third time on this drive. Rolling out to the outside, now throws downfield, caught by Davis for the first down, gets a block, breaks a tackle, and is brought down to the 20-yard line, a gain of 28 on the play. A first and 10. Cox will drop back to pass. We're going to look for a screen pass. It's caught by Hill, and he will go forward for just a one-yard gain. Now a second and nine. Back in shotgun again. We'll take the snap and look to pass. It's a slant route to Davis for the catch and brought down to the five-yard line, but there is a flag down. Please don't bring this back. Personal foul clipping on the offense. That would make it a second and 14 now from the 25-yard line. Cox back in shotgun. Another quick pass caught by Whitfield, and that will set up a third and two. Cox back in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look to pass. A quick throw over the middle is caught by Hughes for the first down. A gain of five. First and goal from the seven-yard line. We'll take the snap and a quick throw to the outside. Caught by Barnes. Brought down for a gain of five here. That sets up a second and goal. Cox from under center. We'll take the snap. A quick throw to the end zone is caught by Manny Hughes. Touchdown South City. And we make it 24-7. On second thought, we're going to go for two and try to make this a two-score game. Cox from under center. We'll drop back. And we're looking to go to the end zone. Rolling out to the left side. We'll break away from that sack and now step up. But he slipped and got brought down anyway. 24-6. They come back in shotgun. McRae is the running back. He sends a man in motion. Williams will take the snap and a quick throw downfield caught by Lane, and that will be a first down for Texas State. He's still not ruled down and finally will be for a gain of 17. Williams will take the snap. It's a read option. He'll keep himself to the outside. Has some pretty good blocking and a huge gain here all the way down to about the 25-yard line, a 22-yard run. A seven-yard run from Williams on the very next play brings up a second and three from the 19-yard line. He'll drop back from shotgun, looking to pass downfield. He'll throw to Hurd, and he'll make the catch to about the 10. First and 10, with about three minutes to go here in the half now. 
out of shotgun. It's a read option. Williams will keep it himself, and he will slide down to about the four. McRae back in the backfield in shotgun formation. Williams will take the snap. He's under pressure, and he's going to get sacked on the play by Michael Starks for a loss of seven. And apparently that injured their quarterback. So in comes Evans now. He'll take the snap and look to pass. His first throw of the day will be a touchdown. From 11 yards out, they make it 31 to 6. With 2.19 to go before halftime, we have all three timeouts. And out in a five wide set, Cox will take the snap and look to pass downfield. We'll throw it to the outside, caught by Whitfield for a gain of two. Now a second and eight. Cox back in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look to pass. A quick throw over the middle is caught by Whitfield, who will be brought down for a gain of 14. First and 10, Cox from under center. We'll drop back to pass. We'll throw this one to the outside, and that one's dropped by Whitfield. Now it's a second and 10. Cox back in shotgun. We'll take the snap. And we're going to throw this one downfield. That'll be caught by Barnes, who's going down the sideline and brought down near the 35. Now first and 10, back from pistol. He'll take the snap, and we're going to throw this one to the outside. Caught by King, who will get out of bounds for a four-yard play. That brings up a second and six. Cox from under center. We'll drop back to pass. And we're going to throw this one down to Whitfield, who will make the catch at the 15-yard line. A gain of 14 on the play. First and 10 with a minute and five seconds left here in the half. We'll take the snap. And looks a pass. We'll go over the middle, and Barnes will drop that one. Cox will come back out, and we'll send Hill in motion. He takes the snap. We're going to throw this one downfield. That's caught by King. Out of bounds at about the two-yard line. It's first and goal. Cox back in a pistol formation. He'll take the snap, and a quick throw to the end zone will be intercepted. Tried to force that through traffic, and now they may have a pick six on their hands here. He's running away from Overrocker, and no one's going to get him. This will be a 100-yard pick six right before halftime to make it 38-6. to six. Jumping ahead into the second half, we have already thrown one incomplete pass, so it is second and ten. Dropping back to pass again, under pressure, and getting sacks on the play, a loss of 11. Cox comes back in shotgun on third and 21. He'll drop back to pass. And we're going to try to go downfield for Daniels, who will make a diving reception and get the first down for a gain of 22. A three-yard run from Overrocker would bring up a second and seven. Now out of shotgun, we'll look to convert here. We're going to throw downfield. That's caught by Downing for the first down, a gain of 15. Now it's time to try to run a read option with Overrocker in the backfield. We will give it to him. He goes up the middle for a first down run, breaking tackles, a gain of 16 on the play. Now Cox comes back in shotgun for the next play. A quick throw over the middle, caught by Davis, and that's a gain of seven. Cox comes back in shotgun for the very next play. He'll take the snap, and we're going to throw this to the end zone for Barnes, but it's deflected out of the air. That would make it third and three. Cox comes back in a pistol formation. He'll take the snap, a quick throw over the middle, caught by Whitfield down to about the 10-yard line, a gain of 13 on the play. First and goal from about the 8-yard line. From under center, we're going to hand up to Overrocker, but he gets hit in the backfield, a loss of two. Second and goal, back in shotgun again. Cox will take the snap, looking for another quick pass. We'll go downfield, caught by Whitfield, brought down about the 2-yard line. Cox back in shotgun for third and goal. We'll take the snap and looking to go to the end zone. That'll be caught by Clint Barnes. Touchdown, South City. And we will make it 38 to 13. The Bobcats will finally get the ball here in the third quarter at the 31-yard line. Evans will take the snap out of shotgun. He tosses it out to McRae on the outside, and they will begin this drive with a four-yard gain. That brings up a second and six. Evans comes back in shotgun again. McRae is still in the backfield, but Evans will look to keep it himself. He has the first down and more. Gets a couple nice blocks, and now he's off to the races, but is caught from behind by Brian Edwards. A gain of 30. Now just a couple plays later for Texas State. It is third and three. Evans back in shotgun. McRae is in the backfield. He'll take the snap and looks to pass. He throws downfield. That'll bounce off the back of his intended target and fall incomplete. They will send their kicker out for about a 45-yard field goal, though, to try to make it 41-13 with under a minute to go in the third quarter. The kick is away, and this one will be good. SCU faces a second and 10. Cox from under center will drop back to pass. We'll throw to the outside. That's caught by Whitfield, who can't make that man miss, but does have the first down. First and 10. Cox back in shotgun. We'll take the snap and looks to pass. He's going to throw this one down the sideline. That's caught by Daniels for the first down, a gain of 25. That play would take us into the fourth quarter where we would start with an incomplete pass. So now second and 10 out of a five wide set. We'll throw this one to the outside. Caught by Whitfield. He's brought down inside the 20. I know it's probably not going to work, but we're going to try to run the ball. Hand off to Overrocker up the middle. We actually have a first down run and Jack Overrocker for a gain of 15. No gain from Scott Mann on the next play results in a second and goal from about the three yard line. It'll be a read option. We'll hand off to Overrocker into the end zone. Touchdown SCU to make it 41 to 20.
And now Roger Williams has come back in to play quarterback with about six minutes to go. He'll drop back to pass and find McCray over the middle for the first down into SCU territory, a gain of 20. Now a second and six. He comes back in shotgun following a four-yard gain from the running back. Handoff to McCray who goes up the middle for the first down and will fight his way all the way down to about the 27-yard line, a gain of 17. We have not been able to stop their offense really all day. Now first and 10 again. Williams will drop back. He's going deep and that will be incomplete. That brings up a second and 10. Williams will come back in shotgun now. McCray is still in the backfield. It's a handoff to McCray to go up the middle and he'll have another first down run and gets spun down to about the 10, a gain of 18. Williams will take the snap. It's a handoff to Howard and he'll go up the middle and get brought down to the five. That would set up a second and goal. Williams comes back in shotgun. He'll look to keep it himself and he'll get brought down, but there is a flag. What is this one going to be? Hopefully it's on Texas State. Holding on the offense. That will make it second and goal. He comes back in shotgun with McCray in the backfield here. Williams will take the snap and they give it back to McCray to go up the middle and he will get some of those yards back brought down near the 10. Third and goal, back in shotgun again. McCray still in the backfield from about the nine yard line. He'll drop back to pass here. Dance around the pocket. He throws to the back corner and that's a touchdown, but I don't think his foot was actually down. It does not really matter in the grand scheme of things here though. And the refs have decided to review this completely pointless play, but yeah, he was nowhere near inbounds. That entire foot landed on the white line. They do make the correct call, so they will send out their field goal unit to try to make it 44 to 20. The kick is away and it is good. Nelson back to return this one from the three yard line. Let's see what kind of return we can get. Jarvis Nelson will bounce it to the outside and we actually have a huge return here all the way to the 45. Can we possibly add some more garbage time points? Cox from under center. We'll drop back to pass. A quick throw to the middle caught by Hughes. And Hughes will get brought down for an eight yard gain. That brings up a second and two. Back in shotgun. We'll drop back to pass. And we're going to throw this one over the middle. And that's dropped by Overrocker. Third and two. Back in shotgun again. We'll take the snap. And we're going to lob this one downfield. That's intended for Barnes, but it will fall incomplete. Can we convert here on fourth down? Cox out of shotgun. A quick throw to the outside caught by Whitfield. And our drive will continue to try to add some garbage time points. An incomplete pass brings up second and 10. Cox out of shotgun. We'll drop back to pass. We'll throw this to the outside and that's dropped by Davis. Third and 10. Cox back in shotgun now. We'll take the snap and look to pass. And we're going to throw this one downfield. That's caught by Davis. Never mind. Knocked out of his hands. Fourth and 10. Cox back in shotgun for the next play. We'll drop back to pass. And we're just going to throw this one deep downfield and hope for the best and that will fall incomplete. And your final score today is 44-20. to 20. I was being completely honest when I thought we stood a chance in this game. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but my hope hit the floor on the very first offensive play when it bounced out of our tight end's hands and our guy just happened to get picked off on his very first throw. I knew from there it was probably going to be a long day. I tried to rebound. It obviously didn't work. We ended up losing by 24 and fall to 0-3. Final stats for the day, Eli Cox goes 31 for 56, 354 yards, two touchdowns and three interceptions on the ground. Over Rocker ran for 36 yards and a score. And then receiving Lonnie Whitfield, 10 for 118. Clint Barnes got a touchdown and Manny Hughes got a touchdown. It looks like Justin King and Scott Flanagan both led the team in tackles with a total of six. Tackles for loss goes to Michael Starks with two and sacks goes to Starks with one. Interceptions, we got zero. The main quarterback today for Texas State was Roger Williams, who went 9 of 15 for 133 yards and two touchdowns. Their backup quarterback went 1 of 2 for 11 yards and a touchdown. Apparently, their kicker threw a pass at some point. I don't remember that, but I could be wrong. Running the ball, Daniel McRae, 12 carries, 167 yards. We never let him find the end zone, but he did get 13.9 yards a carry, and Roger Williams ran into the end zone once. Receiving, no one really gashed us, but McRae caught a touchdown, Matt Lane got a touchdown, and Jimmy Brewer got a touchdown. And in our next game, we get to go on the road to Tallahassee and take on number 14, Florida State, who has a 91 overall team that looks very similar to what Oklahoma had.